How are we doing guys? Chris with Jade Overland again. Today we're going to be talking about camp lighting. Alright, so we're going to talk about these lights from the most basic thing um, that I carry at all times in the truck when I'm going to camp, all the way up to some of the more expensive items, um, bigger lighting, that kind of thing. First one though is going to be a decent headlamp. Now, we all walk around camp looking like dorks. But being able to see at night while I'm cooking and when I'm doing things um, is pretty clutch. This one's got variable settings as far as um, bright light, white. It's got like a cool white light. It's got a red, and then they all dim. So I can vary my lighting um, for what I'm doing. Now this one here um, is from Black Diamond. It is a USB-C rechargeable. Sorry. USB micro rechargeable. Um, I like rechargeable lights. I can do that off of my Blue Eddy power bank. I can plug it into one of the USB connectors I have in the truck. I can get these things charging every night between camps, uh, which is pretty clutch if you're going out for a week or two to not have to be carrying around a million double A's, triple A batteries. Get yourself a nice headlamp. All right, next up is going to be a good pocket flashlight. Um, I am currently using a Streamlight Stryon, uh, again, rechargeable. This isn't something you can charge with a USB or USB-C. It actually has a charging dock, but I've never had one go dead on a two-week trip. So it offers plenty of light. Um, I don't use these a whole lot. Maybe if I'm hiking, I'll go out with it. Um, but it's nice to have a, a nice pocket light. It's got good throw. It's LED. Um, they're light enough weight. I've got a couple of them in the truck. Uh, same light I carry at work, so I'm very familiar with how it works. Get yourself a good pocket flashlight. Um, I would like to probably upgrade that um, for when I'm hiking. Uh, we were out a couple months back, and I had that in my pocket, and it was big, and it was cumbersome, and because it doesn't have a belt clip, uh, it wasn't necessarily easy to pull out when I needed it. So um, I saw Expedition Overland is using a Streamlight pocket flashlight now. It has a belt clip on it. So I'm probably going to try to pick one of those up. All right, now when I first started doing this overland thing and doing the car camping and going out west with my wife, uh, we needed some camp lighting, and I didn't really know what else was available, so I went with camping lighting. Again, um, this one's from Black Diamond. It is a pretty neat little light, actually. So it'll do just that. Nice little standalone light for you. If you click it again, it's got a flashlight on the bottom. Um, what I really like about it though, is what I used to do is underneath my rooftop tent, I had little clips, little D-rings, and I would take these little hooks that has on it. There you go. And I would hang that under my, under my tent, under my awning. And that would provide enough light uh, for camp. Now, I use these for a couple years. Um, these things are, God, getting on 10 years old now. Um, they look perfect. They work perfect. They've been out in pouring rain. Um, they weren't super expensive back when I bought them, but that was 10 years ago. Um, super cool option just to have around. Um, great lights for the house as well. Um, during hurricane season. I live in Florida, so all of my overland gear uh, doubles as hurricane prep. So these are fantastic for that. They do use a couple batteries, but honestly the batteries last forever in these things. Nice little light. Next we're gonna talk about is from Lucy. Um, I know there's a bunch of Chinese companies out there that make these now, um, and this was perhaps the original Chinese company to light. Um, this is an inflatable packable light, so it is um, solar powered, so you can toss this up on your dashboard during the day, it'll charge the light up all day, and then it packs up super small, but when you inflate it, it's this nice big like dome light. It has the same light output almost as one of these, um, but it packs up super small. All you have to do to get packed up is pinch that little valve. Crush it down, and now that's the entire thing. It's 
like a four inch round, toss it up on the dashboard, let that thing charge up all day. Next one we're gonna talk about is from Luma Noodle. Now I got this one um, a little bit after I got my black diamonds. Um, what I did find in my lighting for camp was that with this white light, um, it's very good usable light. It's easy to camp, it's easy to cook, it's easy to see what you're doing. However, um, like you're probably seeing in some of the video here, I camp where there's bugs uh, and white light is really drawing bugs in. So I like to have other lighting options when possible. If I'm cooking and I need it to be bright, uh, I can do that. But really, I use my red light more than anything. I use red and amber in camp for just about everything, just because it keeps the bugs down. So I got a Luma Noodle to try out when they came out. And all it is is, literally it's on a little spool. And that's all it is. Um, this little thing will magnet up to the side of the truck. So I used to put it along the top edge of the truck right above the windows, just magnet it up there. And then you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, you could do party lights with it. Um, it does the regular red, blue, green. Uh, the blue and green are nice to keep your night vision. Um, the red is what I really like. And that would be enough up on the side of the truck. Um, shine down here and between that and my headlamp i had enough light for my cooking space without drawing in bugs um, kind of cool you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it though like i said it'll do party lights it'll strobe it'll do all kinds of neat stuff um, these are super cheap um, i power them off of a power bank so i just have a, an anchor power bank and i would just magnet this thing up to the truck throw the power, power bank on the roof um, didn't get wet and it was perfect these are waterproof the power bank is not it does however come with its own power bank that is um, and the power bank itself just magnets right to the truck as well so eat nice and easy pretty cool um, i don't really use this anymore it's again one of those things i have now for hurricanes just in case um, I could slap that anchor power bank up, put this on the kitchen counter, and then light up the entire kitchen, and it'll run off that anchor for a week. Um, it draws no power. It's all LED, um, and I have multiple color options. Really like it for what it is. Um, helps keep the pugs out, like you're seeing right now. I'm getting eaten alive. Um, very cool little light. All right, like with everything we do with overlaying and camping, the more you get into it, the more you progress into... Um, that genre of travel, uh, the more expensive your gear tends to get. So we're gonna start getting into some of that stuff now. Um, I have a secondary headlamp that stays in the truck at all times. Uh, this one is from Streamlight. That uh, is the ProTac. Um, this is a USB rechargeable as well. This one is super bright though compared to my other one. And um, you'll see instead of having just like the uh, around the head band, this one actually goes like up and over. Um, I usually wear this one with a hat because it does have some pretty good weight, but it's got incredible light output. So it's got a diffuse filter. If you take that off, it's got a spot. Um, very, very bright. I use this when I do night hiking. Uh, all right, next up is one of my favorites. So these are from Hardcore, K-O-R-R. So you can see that real quick. Hardcore lights. Um, I've had a few of their light kits. I had one under my old awning that was a string light that plugged into my uh, my power bank. Um, these, though, I've been using for years. Uh, it's an Australian company. They have these little uni lights. And there's four of them that comes in a pack. And these things are awesome. Um, full USB rechargeable. Uh, I happen to have my Dometic fridge in the back, so after camp every night, um, I'll take these all down. I will string them all in. It's on one plug. So one plug into the back of my fridge, and it'll charge all the lights up. And these are cool because they have multiple functions. Ready? So they have a bright white, a couple dimming, and then they have an amber. The amber I really, really like. Um, again, the amber over top is what I'm normally running in my awning, which we'll talk about in a minute, but the amber lights are awesome. A lot of light coming off these things. 
um, and they don't attract bugs. Now another cool feature about these lights is they have multiple ways you can mount them. So how I had them on my old awning, as you can see here on the back, it's got this little bungee cord. So all I would do, that's a close coyote. That's a whole bunch of close coyotes. I keep flashlights. See if we can record this over the coyotes that are losing their mind about 150 feet that way. <laughs> I must have caught something. Anyway, so I would connect this to my awning poles. Uh, my old awning had poles. Uh, it was not freestanding like my Taruka one is now. Uh, I had an OVS, an Overland Vehicle Systems 270. Great awning. Served me very, very well for uh, several years. Um, I upgraded to this one because it has this optional lighting on it, which is awesome. Um, and it's a freestanding, so I don't have to have poles up. But when I did, this would just bungee onto each pole. I had three poles, um, and then I would turn the lighting on all the way up the top. So this wasn't exposed to the weather, and it gave me great overhead lighting, very similar to what I have here. Um, it also... If I was at, let's say, one of the campgrounds or a KOA and it had one of those uh, like garbage hanger poles, I could take this and it also magnets. Just magnets right up to the pole. So I was able to bring this around camp, stick it where I need it. Um, if I was having to do like airing down at night, I could take this thing out, put it up on my fender, get all my kit out, easy peasy. Um, and with four of them, you have them for all over the place. I'd usually put three on the awning and that fourth one actually goes up in my rooftop tent i'd get bungee corded up into the netting on the top of the tent and that's when i got in i'd have my own roof light up there my tent does not have any lighting inside of it right now so i was using these um, i have had these for a long time uh, i have purchased the set from my dad because he is also a big avid camper um, more so than me uh, a couple of my buddies have gotten these lights hardcore I am not sponsored by any of these light companies, by the way. Um, I just rock some pretty neat gear that I've found over the years. Um, cool lights. Uh, if I was going to get one camp light, uh, these are super handy. All right, one of the last companies we're going to talk about for lighting for camp uh, is a new one to me. Um, a couple of my buddies recently were getting into me like, hey, you got to check these out. Um, I have really good lighting here under the canopy. I have good lighting in my tent. Um, so my actual area here is really well lit and it's awesome. Um, but we get into some of these bigger campgrounds or these bigger camp spots and we want to have more lighting for the scene. Um, meaning when we roll into camp and we're setting our awnings up and we're setting our tents up, but we got in super late and it is dark. Um, it's nice to have a light that extends up on the pole and throws a ton of light. And enter... Devos, that's the company right there, and they've got some options for that. Um, now, behind the camera, I have a Devos 1200. Um, it throws 1200 lumens of light, and I can put all kinds of filters on it. Uh, and they make a filter kit for it for amber, which is the one I run usually. Um, they have a red filter, which is good for, again, keeping bugs out, but it's a little bit dimmer. And they have a yellow filter, um, which I have yet to figure out what to use for. Um, I know yellow lighting is usually for like inclement weather and snow when it comes to like forward projecting lights on your vehicle. But as far as camping, I don't know. Um, haven't used it. Not a big fan of the yellow. But the amber is awesome. Um, I also have that light in a 800 version. Um, they have some really cool options on these things. So this is the 800. It's probably going to blow it out because it's a little bit bright. So you can picture that on a stick, and it goes up 10 feet. So you're providing a ton of light out there. Um, turn this thing off so I can see. So it has a couple of options. The 800 will do all four sides blow out LED. Or if you click it again, um, just the two stay LED, and the other two shut off 
helps you conserve light, helps you only aim light in the areas you need it, um, which I really like. They are USB-C rechargeable. Again, charging lights, love it. Um, they do have an option um, to get a solar charger for these. So it's a solar panel, it clips up on top and then it plugs into it and it's charging throughout the day. So if you had a base camp set up and you were gonna be there for a few days, you just set your lights up, put your solar on top, let it do its thing. At night, you have you have light, and during the day, it's charging all day. You don't have to worry about throwing on your power your battery bank. Uh, and if you're base camping, that's great, because when I base camp, my uh, Blue Eddy solar panels come out, and it charges my Blue Eddy um, power bank. But I don't necessarily want that to be charging all of this stuff too. Uh, it doesn't have two of these because I just put the solar panel on top, and now it's charging itself all day long pretty cool um, I'm going to show you what they look like on the stand here in a second show you what it looks like on the filters um, like I said I'm running the 1200 behind me because it's a little bit brighter um, outstanding lights now they're not the cheapest option out there um, but they're not so expensive that it like it, when you look at everything else on the truck it's not a big deal if you're looking in between the two lights I think I paid a couple hundred bucks for them um, and to have my camp lit up that's well worth it to me um, they're outstanding. They're weatherproof. They're rechargeable. They have a stand that you can put them up and down. You have all the filter kits. Um, you have the solar charger. This one I actually got with this. So what this is, is a motion sensor. And when I saw that they were releasing this at the expo last year, I kind of chuckled and I was like a motion sensor for your, your camp lights. That's cute. Um, I wonder how that's going to work. Um, I thought it was a little gimmicky, and it was like 30 or 40 bucks, but um, I like lights, and I like overlanding gimmicks, so I bought it, um, and we tried it out up in North Georgia, and it turns out, um, all you're doing basically is taking this thing, you have your big expanded pole, it clips on, and then you plug this into the USB charging port on your light. And then all these little white nodes, well, that's your motion sensor. And you can set the sensitivity, and you can set the range, um, and you can set the time where it stays on, and all kinds of cool stuff. And we actually tried it out. Um, same camp, we had bear in the area that we knew about. Uh, we saw, we heard coyotes like you just heard on the video. Um, we had really big cat prints. And when I say really big, I mean they were eh, the size of my handprint. Um, and this is up in Georgia, so there's like panther up there. Um, the forest people, uh, FWC told us, well, I guess it wouldn't be FWC, it'd be Georgia, but the, um, the people working at the campground said they hadn't seen a cat in years. Um, and I showed them the picture of the cat paw and they were like, well, just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not out there, um, which is a little scary being in a soft side tent up on top of the truck. It just makes me a soft taco. Not a big deal for a cat to get up on the hood, get up on the truck and get into that tent. So what we did was uh, we had a kind of circle of wagons, get all the cars together. Everyone had a soft tent, uh, was in the same spot. We set this up facing all of our tents. And uh, anytime something walked through, it kicked that light on and it was awesome. Uh, it was a security light, kind of like you have at your house. Uh, great idea, Devos. Um, really cool concept. It was inexpensive. And I'll tell you what, the 30, 40 bucks, whatever this cost, uh, to have peace of mind at night, knowing that anytime something walked through, the entire camp was getting lit up, uh, well worth the money. Pretty cool little accessory. Um, said I didn't think it was going to be as cool as it is. thought it was just going to be a gimmick, but very happy I got that. All right, now on to my overhead lighting. Um, you see it's on uh, one of its settings right now. It's got a couple settings. Uh, one is amber, one is going to be this like yellowish light, more of a natural light. And then one is gonna be this super white. Um, you can see what's happening because I'm running the white light right now or the yellow light is that I am attracting a ton of bugs. 
I'll turn those ambers on and all of a sudden the bugs are going to go away. I run these ambers a lot more than I do any white light in camp just for that reason. Um, one, I really like the light output it has, uh, but two, the bugs went away right away. Um, you can see them as soon as I smack the top, how many were in here and how many are going to be rolled up in this bad boy when I uh, close this up tonight. Um, but this allows me to come back here. This allows me to do all my cooking. Uh, I have my table here. And I can do everything in the back. Um, go up to the front. I can eat. I can do all of that uh, under light. This has been a game changer for me. Um, buying an awning with its own lights that all I have to do when I get in there is plug it into my battery bank. That's awesome. Um, very, very helpful. All right, now we're gonna talk about this Devos light. Again, this is the Devos 800. This is the smaller light, uh, the less output light. The bigger one is sitting over there so you can actually see me. I've got it running on one light and that's lighting me up and I'm 10 feet away from it. Thing works great. Um, this is on a like camera tripod. So just loosen that little knob, set your legs down, and then you just extend it. Um, pro tip, before you extend it all the way, turn it on, because uh, it's so high that you can't reach it. But you can see how much that's lighting up camp. Now I have the 800 here, I've got the 1200 over there, and if I was to put the 800 there and the 1200 way over there, I've got a huge well-lit camp. I don't have to worry about the kind of stuff coming in at night. And then um, once I put the motion sensor on there, I can kill the camp at night, kill the lights, get up in my tent, and if something walks into camp, it's this bright. So this is what I'd be seeing. So if we have a coyote walk through, boof. Now I see it. We can deal with problems as they come up. All right, and here you can see how well lit camp is. Now, I've got my 1200 up here. I've got my 800 up over there. But if you see, I'm walking backwards here. It lights up the whole camp. So if we were in here trying to set up, um, we're not gonna have any problem seeing what we're doing. And if something walks in and it becomes this bright in camp, I'm not gonna be concerned with not knowing exactly what it is walking into my space. Um, these Devos lights have been a, uh, I don't like saying game changer too much, um, but as far as getting my entire camp lit up, this is pretty rad. All right, now you can see what it's like when I have the amber light on. Again, huge amounts of light being put out but it's all in amber and you're seeing much less bugs all of a sudden um, i have the white light off it's all amber i have the amber going on the truck amber going on my 1200 from devos and the whole camp is lit up um, this is how i run the truck almost every camp um, it's nice on the eyes it's not super bright uh, i have good lighting I can actually dim or make the Devos brighter as well. So if this was too bright for me, um, I was gonna be bothering my neighbors or whatever. Uh, I try not to camp where there are neighbors, but sometimes it's unavoidable. Um, this is the setup and I really like it. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. Um, covered kind of the gamut as far as camping lighting goes, um, wearable headlamps, pocket carry flashlights, magnetic mount lights to the truck, awning lights, scene lighting, uh, kind of covers all of it. Um, if you have something cool out there that you know of that I don't, please let me know. I'm always down to try something new. Um, again, none of these products are sponsored. So this is just stuff that I found over the years that I really like, that I've been using and that I trust. Um, there's been some stuff out there that I haven't liked and I didn't mention them because they're not worth buying. Um, but I think all of this stuff is really good. It's all got its uses. Um, again, all of my stuff down here for overlanding also applies to being prepared for storms. So all of this stuff can be used for hurricane, um, which is kind of a, 
secondary justification for me spending as much as we do on all of our overlanding gear. Um, storm comes in like we tend to get here once or twice a year in Florida. It's really nice to be able to see at night if I had to go outside and work on the house, if I had to just see inside of my home. Um, I have enough lighting from camping where I can do that and be just fine. If you liked any of the products that I'm putting in the video, look below. I'm going to have links. I uh, apologize for mosquitoes all over the light. It's just what it is right now. Um, yeah, there'll be links in the bottom for all the products that I have out here, the hardcore lights, the Devos lights, um, the filter kits and all that are from Devos too. Um, the uh, Black Diamond lighting, just go to their website. They have all kinds of newer stuff. Those, uh, those lanterns are pretty old. I don't think you can get the same ones anymore, but I think they're now just plug-in rechargeable, which would be even better. Um, if you like the awning, you like the lighting on there, that's from Taruka. Um, that is their Extreme Darkness 270 awning. Um, it is my new awning. I love it. Aside from the lighting, it's just a super nice awning, super fast setup, which there is a, uh, a video of how this whole thing sets up um, that was shot in hyperlapse. So it only takes like two seconds for you to watch it, but pretty cool. Again, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Um, you can follow me on Instagram too, under the same name. And uh, if you have something you think I should try, again, reach out, let me know. We'll give that a shot and we'll do maybe a, a comparison video between something that I have currently and whatever you're pushing out. All right, until next time, be safe.